checked. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, so today I think I want to talk a little bit more about James Charles. Um, so since we already talked about him, a lot more has come out. Uh, more, more accusations, more receipts, and also a video from James Charles himself admitting <laughs> to... Um, basically everything and then say moving forward I'll check for ID Bitch, what the fuck? What the f uh, which to me because he in within the same breath he acknowledged the fact that what he was doing was wrong that there's an imbalance of power that he was using his free page basically as a dating service and how that was wrong but then he said, moving forward, anyone that I talk to, I will ask for an ID. So completely, that just didn't negated everything that he said because he's saying, moving forward, I'll ask for ID. Okay, so, so you said that you learned that the root of the issue was okay. Not only the fact that you create, like that you did a, you made, you did a crime, right? But also the fact that it's unethical at best. Even let's say best case scenario, these boys were of age, it's still unethical and he acknowledged that and said that there's an imbalance of power in the, but still he says um, when I'm moving forward I'll ask for ID. Meaning he still intends to continue doing what he's going to be doing. There's no, there's no promise of doing better, I'm going to start you know dating people that I know in real life, you know try to date my peers, uh, go on rate, there's a dating app for these kinds of people like influencers, I hate that word but you know. It's called radio or something. Why doesn't he go on there? Why doesn't he go on Grinder? I don't know. Something. <laughs> like, Grinder would be a more ethical option at this point than what he's doing. So, um, yeah. And also, uh, Blair White came forward as well. And she made a video back in the day um, saying that... Um, who is no Jeffree Star played her a voice recording of a boy that was allegedly essayed by James Charles, which she said was credible. She's now um, made an updated video saying that James Charles is the P word, that James Charles has gone unchecked for so long, and people have let it slide, and this and this and that. So basically doubling down on what she said. So I don't know, I, I just I just feel like since I already talked about it, I wanted to talk about it more. I really hope that um, he loses his sponsorships. Um, people like Morphe don't work with him because it's a liability at this point. And I don't know, like this is my opinion. Uh, me personally, there's a lot of red flags in um, James Charles in what he's doing and he's in his early 20s. Yes, he's still young, but I in my heart have this feeling that if he's doing these types of things, it's such like arguably he's still quite young himself. I mean, he's early 20s. I, in my gut, in my heart of hearts, just have this feeling like if he continues on unchecked, he will, you know, in my, this is my opinion, he would just escalate and, you know, by the time that, say if he continues on in his position, he continues to have the power that he has by the time he's 40, I just, I'm, I'm worried like what would happen. So I just really think that with people like this, it's important to nip it in the bud um, he, need, he needs to get help, uh, but I, either way, I think he should not have his platform, at least not for the time being, um, until maybe he's worthy of deserving it. And I would just really love to see the day when people like, you know, Jeffree Star, James Charles, like all these arguably bad people are just gone. And because I miss the days when makeup was just fun you know i know not everyone here is into makeup but that's what kind of i started on 
with YouTube and it just became like a whoa uh, like this is some serious like serious stuff so I just would like it to go back I just like YouTube in general to go back to what it was I don't know if everyone's noticed but there's some heavy heavy stuff in the air and I've kind of felt like with James Charles like it's just the beginning more stuff is going to even come out and um, I watched a video by Aphrodite, which is a psychic here on YouTube, about the James Charles thing. And oh my god, I was shocked. So according to him, uh, he didn't really come out out and say it, but if you've been following it, you will put two and two together of what he's talking about. He thinks that some really big stuff will be coming out. Um, so, I don't know. I just, I just hope that this isn't go swept under the rug because you know this is this is new territory. Like someone like James Charles coming on to little boys, but I think we need to protect our little boys just as much as we protect our little girls. And you know the double standard needs to stop. Men can be abused. Men can be essayed. Men can go through all this stuff. So I really hope that. He's held accountable. Morphe, you need to, in my opinion, you should drop him. And I think that any brands that continue to work with him, I'm sorry, but you're disgusting. I'm sorry. That's just my my opinion. You can sue me, I don't care. That's my opinion. I don't think that any brand should continue to work with him. There's plenty of other talented people in the makeup community that are unproblematic. Bailey Sarian, Robert Walsh for one, Robert Judy Christie. Um, there's so many people. There's no excuse um, for this diva antics, diva behavior. Like, I don't know. So with the Blair White thing coming out and just watching that Aphrodite video, I, I feel like there might be a really heavy accusation that's brought to light again. I don't know what that's kind of what I feel like is in the air. In which case, that will be something that he can't really escape from. So, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on James Charles? Because, oh, he like his excuse just doesn't fly. Like, oh, I didn't know their age. They lied to me. Okay, maybe once. Maybe. Twice. Mm. Three, four, five, six, seven. I, I, I lost count that many times and all these boys literally have their age in their bio and you're talk talking to them about going on snapchat with you i just it's not adding up there's something wrong with this guy in my opinion and i just i think he's a danger personally i do think he is the p word but I don't know, I just think there's more to come, but I just want to talk about it because I already did kind of talk about it, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, comment down below, what do you guys think is going to happen, does anyone else have this like feeling in the pit of my stomach that something big is about to go down with this, I don't know, I will, like I said, I'll link down that Aphrodite psychic reading down below for you to watch if you're interested, because it was, it was a lot. Like the cards were spelling it all out. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And thanks so much for watching. As always, see you in the next one. Bye.